Hello everyone, uh, I am Shiva Bratanayak and today we are going to discuss one of the poem, famous poem of uh, William Wordsworth. Name of the poem is uh, Daffodils. So if you talk about daffodils, it's nothing but a one of the means of flowers means that you normally find out in our suburban areas of the European countries, right? So <coughs> this poem daffodils indicates nothing but what means the main part of this poem and you can say that this poem incorporates or called as a contain the ideas and aspects uh, essential to romantic poetry. राइट right. अगर देखा जाए तो ये पॉइम मीन्स कंटेन करता है जो मीन्स ब्यूटी राइट ब्यूटी किसका ना रोमांटिक पोइट्री का सो so, जिसके ऊपर विलियम वॉर्ड्सवर्थ लिखे हैं एंड अगर आप देखोगे विलियम वॉर्ड्सवर्थ के बारे में भी सो विलियम वॉर्ड्सवर्थ जो कि एक मेजर पॉइंट है मीन्स उनके टाइम में राइट लाइक ही वॉज बर्न इन द ईयर ऑफ 1770 हंड्रेड सेवेंटी टू एटीन हंड्रेड फिफ्टी राइट एंड ही वॉज ऑनर्ड एज अ इंग्लैंड पॉइट लॉरेट और अ फेमस पॉइंट राइट सो ही डिफाइंड पॉइट्री एज नथिंग बट अ स्पॉन्टेनियस ओवरफ्लो स्पॉन्टेनियस ओवरफ्लो अराइजिंग फ्रॉम मीन्स यू कैन से दैट वॉट इमोशंस रिकलेक्टेड फ्रॉम ट्रैंक्विलिटी सो अगर देखा जाए उनके हिसाब से पोइट्री क्या है ना ये एक ऑटोमेटिक मीन्स एक्सप्रेशन है और यू कैन से दैट इट्स अ काइंड ऑफ अ पावरफुल फीलिंग्स दैट द फीलिंग्स विच कम्स ऑटोमेटिकली फ्रॉम योर हार्ट राइट एंड वेन इट कम्स ना वेन यू आर इन मीन्स लोनली सिचुएशन एंड एट द सेम टाइम यू आर रिकलेक्टिंग और रिमेंबरिंग द इमोशंस दैट यू स्पेंट इन अ पास्ट राइट सो विलियम वर्ड्स वर्ड का ये जो डिस्क्रिप्शन है मीन्स पोइट्री को लेके वो बहुत सिंपल है क्योंकि वो खुद एक मीन्स पोइटिक इन नेचर है और ही इज अ पॉइंट ऑफ नेचर एंड यू कैन से ऑल्सो ही यूज कॉमन लैंग्वेज टू एक्सप्रेस इज अ फीलिंग्स राइट सो दैट्स वॉट इज नथिंग बट अ मीन्स इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ द पॉइंट इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ द ऑथर नाउ लेट्स कम टू द मीन्स अ पॉइंट you would find out that this poem is con, uh, means uh, having with uh, four stanzas right you understand that uh, what do you mean by stanzas like in a parag passage we find out the paragraph similar to that in poetry we find out the stanzas so how many stanzas this poem contains this poem contains four stanzas so in that case you can find out there are four stanzas in this poem so and each stanza contains with uh, six of the lines and uh, uh, the rhyming scheme of this uh, stanzas are like a b a b c c like that like you can say that cloud hills crowd daffodils trees breeze so in that case you can find out the center uh, the last word of this uh, line uh, when rhyming with the next lines last word right then we consider it's a rhyming scheme so sometimes we find out um, the stanzas carries quatrain and uh, 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 sestet octava so this particular poem contains with uh, sestet or six lines and each of the stanza contains six lines and uh, the rhyming scheme of the stanzas are like a b a b c c no let me point out means what the poet actually discuss in this poem so the poet discusses the field of daffodils right which is nothing but evidently the subject of the poem right and jo ki sabse important hai poem ka kyunki poem poem ka subject hi aapka daffodils hai and it indicates the poet is trying to show that what how nature is the most apparent feature अपरेंट मीन्स क्लियर फीचर थ्रू आउट सो नेचर को वो बहुत यहाँ पे इंपोर्टेंस दिए हैं सो वॉट्स वॉट आर्ट्स अ रेंज ऑफ नेचुरल इमेजेस सो थ्रू द पॉइंट द पॉइंट ट्राइज टू पुट सम काइंड ऑफ अ ब्लट इन इट दैट्स कॉल्ड एज अ नेचुरल इमेजेस वो यहाँ पे वो नेचुरल इमेजेस डाले हुए हैं जैसे कि जब आप नेचुरल इमेजेस के बारे में डिस्कस करें तो यू वुड फाइंड आउट लेक्स ट्रीज स्टार्स एंड इवन क्लाउड्स राइट सो those are the examples of the means the natural images you would find out in this point 
so through nature right the poet is trying to put up peaceful mood tranquil tranquility you can say that the meaning of tranquility is called as a peaceful mood right so which is instantly created means from from the very first line like when you start reading the poem you would find out uh, the poet has used the line i wandered lowly as a cloud right so the meaning of this particular part uh, itself is indicating how the poet uh, creates the tranquil mood right so even the poet used the atmosphere of the poem means very peaceful and the use of nature's Uh, use of the nature is creating nothing but a joyful setting or creating happy situation right so the poet appreciates the, the daffodils a lot so and we also say that uh, we also see that through this poem how the poet glorifies the nature and the beauty of nature and uh, the bliss of solitude uh, so you can say that what how he glorifies he praises so uh, praises the nature uh, beauty of the nature at the same time he finds himself in a lonely state and he finds it's nothing but a blessing to him right now let's come to the text of the poem so agar is text mein dekha jaye so maine jaise kaha hai char stanza char stanza hai aur ek har ek stanza yahan pe che che lines carry karta hai so pehle stanza ko agar dekha jaye to yahan pe pehla stanza kya bol raha hai I wander lonely as a cloud uh, that floats on high over wells and hills when all at once I saw means a crowd a host of golden daffodils beside the lake beneath the trees fluttering and dancing in the breeze so what do you find out in this first stanza in the first stanza of william wordsworth's written daffodils so he presented uh, that the फर्स्ट पर्सन राइट अब अपने आप को प्रेजेंट कर रहे हैं कि किस हिसाब से वो पर्सनलाइज कर रहे हैं राइट वॉट ही सेज एंड टू गिव मोर डेप्थ एंड मीनिंग टू हिज वर्ड्स लाइक यू कैन सी लुक इन टू द फर्स्ट स्टैंडा उन्होंने ये पॉइंट आउट किया है कि वो किस हिसाब से अकेले हैं और उनका अकेलापन कंपेरिजन किया जा रहा है क्लाउड के साथ और वो बोल रहे हैं कि विदाउट एनी एक्सपेक्टेशन ही वॉज रूमिंग हियर एंड देर right like or as a cloud who roams it or who also wandered over the over wells and hills areas so that's called as a valley areas and hill areas so suddenly when so while he was roaming here and there he saw a crowd so here the poet has used some kind of a literary devices that we will discuss later but yahan pe point ye point out kar rahe hain ki daffodils ko wo kis hisab se present kar rahe hain means पर्सनिफाइड कर रहे हैं कि द काइंड ऑफ अ क्वालिटी ह्यूमन बींग कैरी सो द सेम काइंड ऑफ अ क्वालिटी दिस डेफोडल्स हैव ऑल्सो कैरीड लाइक वेन ही से वेन ऑल इट वॉन्स ही सॉ अ क्राउड इट मीन्स इट रेफर्स टू द डेफोडल्स मीन्स अ होस्ट ऑफ डेफोडल्स और कॉल्ड एज अ फील्ड ऑफ डेफोडल्स सो डेफोडल्स को यहाँ पे क्राउड के साथ कंपेयर किया जा रहा है तो उसके नेक्स्ट लाइन में उन्होंने ये भी पॉइंट आउट किया अ होस्ट ऑफ गोल्डन डाफोडिल्स बिसाइड द लेक बिनेथ द ट्रीज सो ये जो ब्यूटीफुल होस्ट ऑफ गोल्डन डाफोडिल्स है वो कहाँ पे आपको मिल रहा है ना ये बिसाइड द लेक बाय द साइड ऑफ द लेक एंड अंडर द ट्रीज एंड व्हाट दे वर डूइंग न दे वर डूइंग नथिंग बट फ्लैटरिंग एंड डांसिंग इन द ब्रिज सो फ्लैटरिंग का मतलब होता है मूविंग हियर एंड देर और कॉल्ड एज शेकिंग फ्लैटरिंग शेकिंग and the dancing in the bridge so un jab wo poet means host of daffodils ko dekhe ki wo kis hisab se lek ke side mein and ped ke niche hai to wo dekh rahe hain unka jo motion hai wo shaking kar raha hai ya to hil raha hai and also dance kar rahe hain right aur unka dance aur unka jo shaking hona so wo kiske wajah se na due to the bridge due to the gentle wind so it seems like a life real so the poet is seeing or imagining that how this beautiful daffodils means are presenting themselves before the poet right now if you say that what uh, he 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 has a kind of a euphoric tune uh, euphoric tone so euphoric tone means what that's called as a kind of a means a pleasant pleasant tone so means when he pointed that they were fluttering and dancing in the bridge so um 
you can point out the poet's state is nothing but a means utopia state right so the kind of peaceful language and the description of the beauty so that has been presented right uh, before the reader right indicates nothing but uh, what he feels carefree and also a comfortable situation now moving to the next uh, a stanza what do you find out here uh in the second stanza the poet has used continuous as the stars that shine continuous as the stars that shine and twinkle on the milky way they stretched in never ending line along the margin of a bay of a bay 10000 saw i at a glance tossing their heads in sprightly dance so moving to the second stanza the poet shifts his focus from the daffodils and compares compares those daffodils with nothing but a what uh, continuous as the stars so he uh, he is comparing those daffodils with the, with the stars and stating that what how these stars who shine and twinkle on the milky way right so the speaker allows to reader to experience the majesty of seeing so means पॉइंट का यहाँ पे रीडर्स को मीन्स क्या पॉइंट क्या शो करना चाहते हैं ना ही वॉज ट्राइंग टू एक्सपीरियंस राइट ही वॉज ट्राइंग टू शो द एक्सपीरियंस द ब्यूटी ऑफ द डेफ्रोडल्स द शाइनिंग ऑफ द डेफ्रोडल्स राइट एंड हाउ ही कंपेयर्स दोज डेफ्रोडल्स विद द मीन्स विद द विद द स्टार्स राइट so after that he also stated that what the, how these daffodils means which were stretched in never ending line so the poet stated that uh, uh, that the stars were stretching also right the stars which spread across jo stars means spread hue hain milky way mein right so un unki uh, means poet ke hisab se unka koi boundary nahi hai us hisab se means the daffodils be spread hue hain Uh, and they spread towards the coastal coast means uh, coastal area so like the street means uh, like the stars who also spread right across the milky way across the sky similar to that these daffodils also have spread right so the uh, stars which were also shining and twinkling similar to that the these daffodils were also shining and also means blinking right so the poet also stated that uh, means 10000 saw i at a glance tossing their heads in sprightly dance so poet did not count it like this the poet is used the means hyperbole situation or hyperbole mood or call it exas exaggeration mood right so where the poet is trying to praise the daffodils in a lot so what he is trying to do he stated that when he looked glance जब वो एक बार में देखे वो होस्ट ऑफ डेफोडेंस को ही ही टोल्ड ही टोल्ड द रीडर दैट वॉट एटलीस्ट टेन थाउजेंड डेफोडेंस ही सॉ इट वॉज नथिंग बट अप्रोक्सीमेटली ही पॉइंटेड दैट टेन थाउजेंड डेफोडेंस विच क्रिएट नथिंग बट हाइपर बोल मोर मतलब किस हिसाब से ऑथर पॉइंट यहाँ पे मीन्स अप्रेज कर रहे हैं डेफोडेंस को एंड बहुत ही ज़्यादा मीन्स प्रेजिंग किया जा रहा है सो so, 10000 saw i at a glance and what they were doing they were moving their head right who were moving their head now these beautiful daffodils were moving their head and their means shaking and moving seeming like what they were real they were real and they were really doing what the dance right so that's what the poet has stated in the second stanza so it is nothing but a simply a means peaceful for the poet now moving to the third stanza the poet used the third stanza third stanza by means again another comparison with the what with the waves of the lake the poet stated the waves beside them danced so the waves means referring to the waves of the lake the waves beside or by the side of these daffodils were dancing but they outdid they outdid means they refer to the mm, those daffodils right so they were outdid or called as a means commendable right they were commendable who were commendable that these beautiful daffodils were commendable because they were sparkling right uh, they were shining right more than the means uh, shining of the uh, what do you say that webs 
right so waves of the lake right and also it is indicating means they outdid the sparkling waves in glee so the nature of the daffodils were nothing but in a glee glee means called as happiness right so a point so as a point he could not but be gay so point yahan pe apne aap ko means peaceful statement to find out kar rahe hain aur bahut hi means merriment hai aur bahut hi khush lag rahe hain right so he realized that what he found a nothing but a, a good company right merry company so that's the reason he pointed in such a jocund company j o c u n d so the meaning of jocund is indicating nothing but merry company or happy company so uh, that's what you will find out uh, the poet who used the means personification to describe that how the waves danced and the how the daffodils do nothing but outdid the means of web, uh, sparkling waves in ugly right this continues to give readers a sense of peace and joy combined with real action so the uh, again the poet also stated that the personification of the daffodils also reveals their effect on the speaker as he regards them with life and attributes to them the ability to feel glee so the daffodils itself or well, themselves feel glee glee in situation so glee means called as a happiness the speakers then shift the focus back to himself as a poet so back to himself so william wordsworth means telling himself as a poet that what he uh, as a poet could not control but he gave he gave means he feels happy right this portrays the effect the dazzling daffodils had on the speaker so you could identify how means the daffodils effect on the poet so that's why he pointed i gazed and gazed but no thought what wealth the show to me had brought so the poet also said said here that what now uh he he was in such a situation that uh, he found very happy right so when he says that wait uh, what wealth the show to me had brought it shows that the mere sight of the golden daffodils means only so when he sees the beauty of the only daffodils flowers right somehow gave him nothing but a enriched in his life enriched means what na that's called as a full of wealth in his life matlab unke life mein means daffodils ka beauty bahut hi mayna rakhta hai right so and uske wajah se wo bahut hi khush lag rahe hain unka life peaceful lag raha hai and he pointed that uh, these beauty of the daffodils cannot be compared with the wealth of life so us hisab se wo point out kar rahe hain ke what wealth the show to me had brought in this beautiful daffodils in compared to the wealth so means it gives nothing but enriches to me right so wo how means whether this means daffodils right can be compared with the wealth no kyunki daffodils ke wajah se wo bahut hi peaceful lag rahe hain lag rahe hain jo ki wealth unko de nahi sakta hai right so the use of the word wealth reveals that the sense of peace and joy that the peace and joy which he could not draw from the actual money right so and that peace and joy which he got from the means beauty of the daffodils right so uh, that's what you will find out this also give the reader the idea that some things are worth some things are worth more than money and worldly goods such as peace and joy so they are more important than the wealth okay so now moving to the next the last stanza of this point so the point used to for oft or for often right when on my couch la i lie right in vacant or in pensive mood they flash upon that inward eye which is the bliss of solitude and then my heart with the pleasure fills and dances with daffodils so if you talk about this uh, last stanza so where the poet stated for oft oft so it's called as often or it means for most of the time when on my couch i lie so when he was sitting on his bed so couch means 
considering as a place or a sofa where you sit or lie during the idle time or when the leisure time or uh, when you feel lazy. So the poet stated most of the time when he sits on his uh, sofa, right? So in vacant or in pensive mode. So vacant or in pensive mode means that's called as a vacant means leisure time and pensive means pensive mode. It's called as a full of thoughtful mode. Right. So whenever he was uh, sitting on his uh, couch or sofa, he takes rest during the leisure time or in a full of means thoughtful mood. Right. So they flash upon that inward eye. Now this indicates that the poet means uh, of the world. Right. Of the world means when he was uh, writing such uh, some kind of uh, means uh, uh, poems. Uh, so or called uh, when he was sitting in a leisure time so at the same time so they flash they means referring to the beautiful daffodil flash uh, or called uh, the beauty of the nature so suddenly appeared in front of his eyes or called as uh, in his mind's eye right so and he feels nothing but the blessing of his loneliness or called as uh, a lonely state which is the blessed of uh, what do you say? Solitude. So solitude means lonely state. So the poet also said that and then my heart with the pleasure fills and dances with solitude, right? Or with the daffodils. So and then my heart with the pleasure fills. So when those beauty and the beautiful nature or beautiful daffodils suddenly appeared into his mind, so his heart fills with pleasure because he finds himself means the same state, joyful state. Right, or peaceful state and his heart dances like or uh, as the da daffodils dance right uh, so in that case you would find out the poet is trying to cover cover what means the poet is or the speaker means indicates about a peaceful joyful tune means to uh, to such kind of a state like pensive state Right, pensive means uh, when he was in a leisure state, or called as uh, uh, sorry thoughtful state, or when he was in a means a vacant state. Right, he also comes down from the means cloud and reveals the really uh, reality of his uh, current physical state. Right, even though means he no longer sees the dancing webs and the golden daffodils, he reveals that he will never forget means of what the daffodils when he says right they flash upon the inward of eye so inward of eye means when he those of the beautiful daffodils really appear into his mind right the speaker reveals that he not only uh, means as what do you say that uh, not only means as remember those of the means a time when he he was with the means a daffodils Right. So, but that also he has also kept the memory of how they made him feel happiness or uh, peaceful. He reveals this when he says that um, you can say that my heart with pleasure fills, right? So and dances with the daffodils. This gives the reader the sense that the speaker has either either been dreaming, either been dreaming means imagining, right? Or you can say that he has an experience in which. He got a glimpse of heaven. Glimpse of heaven means he finds himself in a means heaven state, right? So uh, it leaves the reader with a means a yearning to find that the perfect place or called as a utopian place means utopian peace. So you would find out this poem is very simple and it represents nothing but how the beauty of the nature and here beauty of the nature specifically focusing the host of daffodils right making the poet means full of glee and how the poet uses lots of means literary devices to means give the importance and giving praise to the daffodils a lot so the poet used the literary devices like you can point out um, when he says that he compared himself with the uh, cloud he used the word means he used the uh, literary devices called as a simile simile s i m i l e so simile is used for the comparison when one of the object is compared with the another object using with the as or like 
so we used to say that simile when without as are like any of the comparison is made that is called as a metaphor the poet also used the means another um, another literary devices which he pointed as a means of personification when he presents that the quality of daffodils are comparing with the crowd right so he presented nothing but a personification the poet also used the another literary devices which is called as a hyperbole or exaggeration when he used at least 10000 daffodils he saw at once right so that shows nothing but the poet's hyperbole at means uses in the poem so and beside that the poet also used means imagery i m a g e r y so imagery indicates nothing but how the means of poet used the word called as a uh, lakes um, stars cloud hill areas valley areas those are the things even trees they are indicate uh, in they are indicating nothing but a nature or reflecting nothing but or dreaming nothing but the natural images so based on those of the means uh, natural images the poet present uh, poem but specifically the poet is doing nothing but giving importance to the beauty of the daffodils so which is nothing but yellowish in color or golden in color if you talk about this poem uh, so william wordsworth was not uh, without his uh, share of loss in fact agar aap william wordsworth ke bare mein dekhe to wo wo bahut hi bahut hi means a realistic poet hai right in fact he lost his mother when he was seven so his life was full of means lugubrious matlab dukh bahut dukhad bhari hai right so when he was seven he lost his mother and father so when he was uh, 13 means uh, he lost his father also as if uh, there were not enough loss for one person three of his children preceded him in death so means uh, and then after this this whole background gives this particular poem greater meaning the poem reveals that the speaker feels far more comfortable and peaceful when thinking about uh, the after life he feels it so you can find out mm, the poet is trying to uh, trying to present his uh, sadness right or sorrowful situation right by recollecting the past but at the same time if you look into the poem the poet means finding himself in a means happy situation when he sees the beauty of the daffodils so that's all about this poem uh, hope you understand this poem if you really means like the poem please subscribe the means uh, subscribe this youtube channel thank you